Michael Tech PB, and today we are going to talk about the new Empire Sniper. So these are now finally starting to um, get out into the stores. You know, they had a little bit of a release at World Cup, and uh, they only had about 20 of them there. And now they have finally, the shipments are finally starting to come in, and they're starting to get out to the stores, and they're starting to become a little bit more readily accessible. And so let's talk about uh, first impressions with this. I did play with this. You're going to see a video at the end of me using it, uh, having a good time with it. Uh, first impressions of it, I mean, it's a, it's a good, very well put together gun. You've got the dual pump rods, which, you know, for some people they claim, you know, sometimes you get a little bit of uh, torquing and binding when you only use a single rod. You've got two pump rods that go through uh, a guide, a little guide hole here on both sides to, you know, to make sure that, you know, the pump stroke, you know, doesn't tweak or bind or anything like that. Um, you got you know what's commonly referred to as the Hitman mod right here at the bottom. You've got foregrip. You've got a uh, single trigger. You've got a clamping feed neck. I mean, <laughs> you, this thing comes with a lot. I mean, this is a lot of stuff that comes in this pump gun. Uh, I believe right now they retail for about four hundred and twenty dollars. The um, you know out there on the field it shot great. The, the probably the first thing that looked kind of got on my nerves with it was the gauge. You know, it's coming off the left side of the gun. Now, I am thankful that they did put a port to have a gauge. It can be, it can really come in handy when you're trying to tweak and set up your pump gun, uh, whether you're trying to sweet spot it, di you know, diagnosing anything with the reg and stuff like that. But um, the the gauge originally was on the left side of the gun, and when you go to pump it, it you know, it scratches against your wrist. So basically, what I did was I just got. A plug and put it in here in place of the gauge and now I've got plugs on both sides but the, the gauge is a nice touch I do like the fact that you do have a gauge but I'm you know probably I'd say most people you may want to switch the location of it being if you're right-handed you're gonna want the gauge probably on the right hand side put the plug in on the left hand side and that way it doesn't when you go to pump the marker it doesn't uh, you know catch with your hand another thing that I really like about it you get you know, it's, it's not a huge barrel kit, but you do get a barrel kit with it. You get the stock 685 barrel bag, and I believe the other ones, it's a 680 and a 675. So, you know, you're getting a pretty nice barrel kit. As you can see, I believe that's probably maybe a 6, 6 to 7 inch uh, a control bore on there. So between the 85, the 80, and the 675, you shouldn't have any problems with rollouts with this gun at all. Something else too for people that like the limited paint or for people that, you know, maybe uh, you've got a uh, 10 round tubes and stuff like that and you want uh, as low a profile as possible. I didn't experiment with this. I have used this on my, on my BT pistol, but it does come with, I believe this holds about 12 to 13 rounds, a tube that you can put on top of the gun like so, and you probably want to face it forward. You, you know, like so, and it's uh, it's spring mount. Now, for those that want to be purists um, in regards to stock class, you can remove the spring out of here. You just unscrew it out the back, pull the spring out, pull out the guide, and, and you know now you've got a true rock and cock motion if you want, whether it be back or front. But that in itself, right, there's probably a twenty thirty dollar accessory comes inside the box free of charge. Um, comes with a regulator. It's it's a basic. Good quality regulator, this type of regulator seen on numerous types of guns that are out there from die, floating base regulator is also found on planet clips. I mean, basically any type of regulator that when you back it out, the pressure goes up. It pretty much are all designed exactly the same. Dangerous Power uses this type of regulator and on this, you know, this gun uses the same type of regulator. But the regulator is a really nice touch. I mean, that's, you know, that, I mean, that's, that's a must have. I mean, the best part too is whatever pressure you put into it, it's going to get regulated down to 225 PSI or whatever the gun shoots at, and it's going to make your shots extremely consistent and extremely accurate. Love the regulator. Also, one of the things I really like, it's got a very nicely designed, uh, you know, ASA that's on here, a quick flip ASA. As you can see, it's just, you know, you, you just pivot it right up and it, and it airs right up. The thing I also really like about it, there's no holes coming out the left or the right hand side of this gun. It comes right out the front. So, you, you know, when you're going to switch, you know, when you go to switch hands, there's nothing to catch your hands. When you go to switch hands, it feels exactly the same on your left shoulder as it does on your right. And, you know, chronoing this gun was pretty easy. The first time I aired it up, the, uh, the, the gauge was reading about 180 PSI. It was chronoing at about 260. I increased the pressure up to about 230, 240 PSI. Uh, gave this about three turns in, and it chronoed at 295, and that's about where I left it all day long. Very, very impressed with this gun. Something else that I also really liked about it, too, and this will help the gun be a little bit quieter, is 
the bolt, let's see if I can zoom in here. This is a new camera, by the way, but the remote still works. So let's go ahead and zoom in here. There we go. As you can see on this bolt, it's got the O-rings, not only on the front, which is going to prevent blowback up your feed tube, but it's also got O-rings on both the front and the back of the bolt on both sides of the, the hole, uh, the air hole. Now what that's going to do is it's going to make the gun a little bit more efficient, and it's also going to make the gun a little quieter because all of the noise is, and you know, all the noise of shooting the gun is going to go out the barrel instead of out the back. So, um, I mean, it's, it's over. I mean, I've been really impressed with this gun for $420. You're definitely getting a lot of value in the box for $450. I mean, you know, heavily ported barrel, barrel kit, uh, you know, limited ammo type thing. You've got the, the spring fed magazine that goes up on top here. You've got a T-rail basically, I'm not sure if it's an exact fit. I haven't quite checked it with Planet Eclipse. You know, I haven't put like my um, my uh, Pops or Oops ASA on here to see if it if it fits, but I'm pretty sure that is the same ASA uh, configuration T-rail just like the Planet Eclipse guns. You got a very high quality ASA, high quality regulator, single trigger. It's a very, uh, very crisp trigger pull. You pump this back and you can see if you pull the trigger, I mean the, the trigger is an extremely crisp pull. That's it. So, um, you know, the, the, everything about this gun, I mean, it, this is a very high quality pump gun. There's not a lot here that you can really be upset about. <laughs> this is very nice quality pump gun. I love the clamping feed neck. You can put whatever loader you want on here. If you want to put the new Z2, if you want to put a Velocity, if you want to put a Pinocchio, a Halo, 50 round, whatever you want to put on top of here, the clamping feed neck is going to hold it on there nice and tightly. You know, it, it, everything is all interchangeable. I believe if you want to remove this Hitman mod, you can. Um, you just got to disassemble this and go in through the top. But it's all here. I mean, this is definitely a very nice pump gun for $420. Now, I'm not that big of a pump player. You guys know this. I don't try to fake it or anything like that. I'm not that big of a pump player. But, you know, this is definitely a very good, qual high quality pump gun. $420, absolutely the value is here for this. It's all here. Good ASA, good rag. I mean, you name it. I mean, you can't say enough good things about this this um, this particular pump gun, the new Empire Sniper. I really liked it. I just like that once I removed the you know once I removed the uh, the gauge that was on the side of it here. As you can see, just a nice clean finish on both sides of the gun. And also, you know, which is you know a pretty expensive upgrade. It comes with auto trigger. I mean, it's got an auto trigger feature on here. You hold the trigger, you keep stroking it. You know, it's got an auto trigger on here now with companies like CCM, stuff like that, I mean, that's a pretty expensive upgrade uh, auto trigger. It comes with this thing as well. I mean, absolutely loaded, loaded gun for $420. So, you know, I, I really like it. That's, you know, I, I don't know how to sum it up about it. There's not a lot about this gun that, you, that I don't like. Everything about it I do. It's, it is just a very, very high quality gun. So I'm going to go ahead and show a video here of me using it out there in the field. Like I said, I'm not a, not a, uh, definitely not Sonny Lopez, by the way. But, uh, you know, I definitely do my best when I go out there to try to play pump and have a really good time. But, you know, if you've been on the fence about purchasing the Empire, you don't want to wait the three months it takes to get a CCM gun. These are readily available for a couple hundred dollars less. Jump on this. It's very, very, you know, all the value is in the box. That's for sure. So hopefully this helps you make a decision. I really like the gun. You know, I don't see for, you know, just a little over $400. If you, you know, really want a high quality pump gun, why you wouldn't get this. Thanks for tuning in.
Yeah, yeah. yeah up top on the left. But it's, I mean, you can't hit them from here. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god, that was my shot. Check your loader! You're out! 